We've got some welding projects around the equipment yard and I want to share them with you right now. As I mentioned in the previous episode of Rice Farming TV, we still have a couple intense cracks on some of our planting implements. And as spring approaches, we need to get them welded and repaired. But before we jump into that, a brief note on water. In the third week of March, we saw steady rain and receiving our full allocation of surface water from the state looks even more promising. We still need to wait though for the final calculation and decision on April 1st. Now, when I pulled up to the shop this morning, I saw Pops had brought in the pull chisel and I knew we'd be attacking the welding projects. But these cracks are so intense, we called in the wizard of welding, the Michelangelo of metal, Jerry. This is John Deere. You working for John Deere now? Pops pulls out the Kloss Harvest Combine so we can work on the pull chisel under the lean tube. Meanwhile, Jerry and I discussed the plan. So what's the plan? Cutting off a whole piece of tubing? Yeah, we gotta cut the old one out. One of the cracks is on a two by four inch piece of tubing and we're going to totally replace it with a beefier four by four inch piece of tubing, hopefully to prevent any further cracks in the future. I'll show you the crack in a bit once we get the tubing cut out. It's hard to see because it's on the underside. Pops backs the chisel into the lean to and it's a tight fit. Jerry Torchmeister General lights her up and starts to cut. After a bit of cutting, Dr. Jerry prescribes a couple wax and I play nice nurse and retrieve his favorite tool, the sledgehammer. You want me to sledge it? We take turns relieving a bit of midweek stress. But in the end, it's Jerry's lumberjack wax technique that brings half the tubing down. Respect. I shovel out the hot scrap metal. And now that it's down, I can show you the crack that we're fixing with this tubing overhaul. You see there? That's a nasty crack, my friend. And you see those metal brace plates sticking up? Those were added in the past to help support that tubing, probably to fix a previous crack. It just wasn't strong enough as evidenced by what we're looking at now. This crack probably occurred when the tractor operator had the pull chisel in the ground, or partially still in the ground, and tried to turn. That's a good way to rip metal apart, anchoring it in solid, dry dirt and twisting it with a 260 horsepower tractor. Dare Bear continues cutting out that remaining piece. Surprise, surprise, in an unrelated job, Pops has pulled the backhoe over to the shop. He's gonna service it before doing a little digging on a portion of a field that's not draining winter water very well. I grab Jerry some electricity because pretty soon he'll need to grind down that freshly cut jagged metal. But first, we need to have better, more comfortable access to our work, so Jerry fires up his service truck, whips out his crane, and we're gonna lift the pulled chisel up into the air. And just as a second security option, I'm gonna pull in the forklift and use it as a safety net in case the crane gives out. I jump off the forklift because Pops needs to get by that tractor and disc now that he's serviced the backhoe. So I'm gonna move it up for him a bit. I get back to Jerry and he's already on the grind, smoothing out metal, preparing it to kiss welds. There goes Pops on the backhoe, man on a mission. Jerry grinds down the other cut real fast and I retrieve the new, heavier tubing. We drop the forklift, unhook the crane, and allow the pole chisel to rest back down on the ground. This replacement tubing was ordered from the metal shop to be cut to fit. Let's see how our measuring and their precision cutting worked out. It is snug and you know what that means. The whack attack is back. Dr. Jerry calls back his headache stick for some more pounding. You want to try to get this down on this corner? And that's music to our ears. Just listen to that melody of metal. Time to bring out what we've all been waiting for, the welding mask. Jerry's going to zap that new beam right on in. Oh. 
Look at those smooth welds. I told you the guy's a wizard. Like butter on bread and it's toast. And for a little extra support on the back of the new beam, we weld in two gussets just for the fun of it. Just because Jerry's on a roll. And that, my friends, is a crack repair turned into a reformat for extra support and structural integrity. Now that we have this one beam replaced and know that it was the weak link in the entire frame, it makes sense to replace the last remaining 2x4 inch beam with a new 4x4 inch beam. It's not cracked or damaged, but all we have is time as we wait for the rice fields to dry out. Just a little preventative maintenance. Jerry starts the process over again. Cutting, banging, grinding, and welding. And before you know it, we've got two new beams and an overhauled, heavier duty pull chisel frame. Today's mission is accomplished and we load the tools back into Jerry's service truck. And afterwards, Pops and I pull the chisel out from under the lean to. After sparks fly, it's hard to say goodbye to Jerry, but Pop sets up a next time. And we begin to head home. And that, my friends, was today's welding project on our cracked out pull chisel. We've not only repaired it, but made it stronger for future generations to enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this welding machining episode, let me know because throughout this week we'll be doing the same type of work on one of our red discs. Give Jerry a thumbs up if you enjoyed his craftsmanship. And other than that, have a great day.